What is going on, everybody? It's Super Geeky for Life here once again, and uh, it's been a really long time since I've done one of these. Uh, um, there's a good reason for that. It's been a while since I've uploaded any videos, um, for that matter, and uh, there's a good reason for that, too. Um, basically, um, the situation is that um, YouTube has signed me out of my YouTube account on on my mobile on the mobile app on my phone because I record my stuff with my phone and yes I know my quality is not the best I, I um I, I I do the best with my, with what I have and uh, you know I, I have fun with it that's basically the whole point of me having a YouTube channel is basically for me to have fun um, and every time I try to sign in with my YouTube account, my username, Super Into the Life, and my uh, password. Um, it will not let me. Yeah, it says that uh, my password has uh, I've entered the wrong password, or uh, my uh, uh, account has changed. Um, and I, I know I've put in my password uh, correctly several times, but it just it will not let me sign into the, to the uh, mobile app, which which um, allows me to up, upload videos. So, um, basically, I found kind of a loophole way, um, that 18 second video that you, that, that you probably saw was just me testing it out, and, uh, basically, from now on, I have to upload, I have to send an email to my Yahoo account through my Gmail account, um, because apparently, uh, YouTube is only allowing, uh, my Gmail account to work, I guess, I, I don't know, but just... It, it, it's 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 kind of sad that they're trying to do too much in terms of changing things that didn't need to be changed in the first place, in my personal opinion. I just think, you know, uh, they need to go back to the old YouTube layout um, from like three or four years ago. It was just, it, some things in life just don't need to be changed. And um, that's just my personal two, two cents on that matter. And um, I, I, I talked about this a little bit in my and one of my Black Ops 2 videos that I recorded um, upon finding out that, about this little, I guess, loophole. And um, I sent the email of that video to my U, my Yahoo account a few days ago and nothing. I didn't, I didn't get the email. So uh, uh, I guess the video file didn't work or, or I'll have to do it all over again. But uh, until then, I'll just be doing vlogs like this and... Uh, my NFL picks videos are coming up real soon. I'm very happy to be doing those again for the third straight year. Um, but, you know, the YouTube problems are, uh, are not what I want to talk about here today. What, what I want to yeah, what I want to instead talk about is the my kind of my NFL season predictions video. Um, the NFL, I think, over the last few years has gotten very, very tight when it comes to uh, um, parody. I, I mean, there's going to be a few teams like Kansas City and, the, and Oakland and Jacksonville who I think uh, will have the top three picks in the NFL draft next April, but I, I think you're going to see teams like Arizona, Cleveland, uh, St. Louis, uh, Miami, Tampa Bay really take a step forward next uh, this year. May not make the playoffs, but really take it that next step to being a contending team for many years to come. Um, and with that being said, let me just go through um, division by division and just, you know, pick the division winners and I'll get to the Super Bowl um, uh, towards the end here. Uh, starting in the AFC East, the Patriots, Dolphins, uh, Bills, and Jets in the AFC East. Um, I do expect the, Pat the, the Patriots to win this division again, but not in a convincing fashion like they've been doing the last few years. Uh, I think the Miami Dolphins will give them a real run for their money. Uh, the Patriots losing a lot of key guys, uh, especially on offense. Losing Wes Welker, losing Aaron Hernandez. To, uh, they, they cut Aaron, Aaron Hernandez, Aaron Hernandez excuse me, uh, dealing with that whole homicide investigation thing. Uh, they lose Rob, Ron, Rob Gronkowski um, to, I believe, Back surgery, I believe it was, uh, or wrist surgery. I I'm not really sure, but uh, he may not be back uh, for the start of the season. So they lost a lot of guys on offense and uh, a lot of key important guys on offense. 
for that, for that matter. Um, but they still have arguably the best quarterback in the game, Tom Brady. He will find a way to make it work. Him and Coach Belichick will find a, make, will find a, a way to make it work. And I think this could actually be a good thing to, to make the defense an important staple of the team, much like it was during the dynasty years when they won three Super Bowls in five years. So I think the Patriots will win this division. Miami will give them a run for their money. Uh, Buffalo will finish third, and then the Jets. Uh, they'll be lucky enough to win three or four games. Uh, the West, the Broncos, Chargers, Chiefs, Raiders. Um, I only see one team out of this division making the playoffs, which is the Broncos, which I think will win the division. Uh, San Diego will be a close second, followed by the Raiders and the Chiefs. I mean, uh, not really much. And pro this, this is probably the worst division in football, in my personal opinion. Uh, AFC North, uh, Ravens, uh, Bengals, Steelers, and Browns. Um, I, I think the Ravens will still win this division despite losing a lot. And I mean a lot of key guys off of the Super Bowl winning team last year. Um, they lost Anquan Bolton to San Francisco, lost Ray Lewis to retirement, lost Ed Reed to Houston. Um, they, they, they just lost Dennis Pitta to a, a torn ACL, I believe, uh, in training camp the other day, uh, which is a major, major blow. So I, I believe this is going to be an important year for Ray Rice, not just running the football for over 1,000 yards, but catching, catching the ball in the backfield. Um, the defense they did sign Elvis Doomerville, or I guess they kind of stole him because of uh, how they were able to uh, get him uh, out of Denver. Um, but I think the defense will be an important part, much like it has been the last decade and a half. Um, but I, I do think Cincinnati will, will I think this, this will be a division that's won at the very end of the year. Um, I do see the Ravens being a team that's going to be face that's going to be uh, competing in the wild card round. Um, so I'll go Ravens, Bengals, Steelers, Browns, and I think each team will uh, will finish around the 500 mark or better. I think Cleveland will take that next step, like I said earlier, and uh, be a more a, be a competitive team. And for many years to come, I think I think Brandon Whedon, especially Trent Richardson, oh my goodness, he is a beast. Um, defensively, they're getting better. It, change is on the horizon, Browns fans. Change is on the horizon. Uh, in the AFC South, uh, Texans, Colts, Titans, Jaguars. Um, I, I, Texans probably the probably gonna win this division. Um, offensively, they are a juggernaut. Um, defensively, though, um, I would like to see them improve in the secondary. Um, front seven is one of the best in the league, led by J.J. Watt. Um, and, they, and, they, and of course, they got Ed Reed in the, to help out the secondary, secondary, blah, 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 the secondary as well. Um, so I think the Texans will, will wrap up the division by uh, probably close to the Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. So moving on to the wild cards. Now the wild cards are kind of interesting because we got teams like Indianapolis, Cincinnati, uh, Miami, who I think will contend for a wild card this year. Um, who else? 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 Um, I think I, I said Pittsburgh already, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Um, now outside of that, I don't, I don't see many teams competing for a wild card spot in the AFC this year. Unlike in the NFC, where it's a lot more diverse, a lot more, there's a lot of good teams in that conference. But uh, I have the same, I have the same six teams that were in the AFC playoffs last year and this year: Patriots, Broncos, Ravens, Texans, Colts, and Bengals. With the with the Colts and the Bengals being the wild cards. So um, there's that for the AFC. And on the NFC side, in the East. Uh, I have pretty much the same division winners across the board. I have the Red Redskins win the East. Um, I just don't see how Chip Kelly's offense can work in the NFL level in the first year, um, especially given all the other issues they have with their team, uh, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Cowboys, I mean, I, I, they're my team, but, you know, I don't know if Tony Romo is going to be that elite quarterback that everyone says he is. Um, defense, especially on the oh the secondary. Oh man, I, I like I like Morris Claiborne. 
Um, I like I like him, but I mean just the secondary as a whole and uh, the offensive line just yeah. I mean every time we get a every time we get a drive going, it's like you know we're, we're driving down the field, you know offense is clicking on all cylinders, and all of a sudden back to back full star penalties and everything just goes to the crap. And it just it, and then we have to punt the ball. It just it uh, unbelievable. So I don't expect anything to change from there uh, as well. And the Giants. Uh, I'll get to them in the, uh, in the wild card spot. Uh, in, the, in the West, the West, the NFC West used to be the worst division of football, and now it may be one of the better ones. Because I think Arizona and St. Louis will improve. Not making the playoffs type of improvement, but I think they will improve in terms of um, in terms of uh, you know getting to a better record. Uh, 49ers, I think, will win the division. Uh, Seattle, I think, will be a very close second. Um, I, I have them as one of the wild card spots, um, no question about it. I can't see Seattle miss the playoffs. Uh, in the North, like, uh, I like the. Uh, wow. Hey, get, go. Wow. Okay, okay, all right, yeah, yeah, just look. All right, we get it. Just fluffy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you too. Um, Packers win the North. Um, I, I think the Lions will improve from their six and ten mark last year. Um, the Vikings, I don't see them having their, you know, lucky wild card run like they did last year. Uh, Chicago um, will contend for a wild card, but I don't see them making the playoffs this year. I think the Packers will be the only team from the division that will make the playoffs. In the South, uh, Falcons, I think will will uh, will run away with this division because I don't see Saint, uh, New Orleans Saints defense improving. Even despite you know Drew Brees and all the things that he's capable of doing, uh, Tampa Bay will improve, Carolina will improve, but I think the Falcons will win this division outright. Uh, and the wild cards, Giants and Seahawks will take those respectively. Um, for my Super Bowl prediction, I think whoop, my uh, computer went black there for a second. My bad. Um, but for my Super Bowl pick, I think. Um, I think it'll be Denver and Green Bay. Denver. Yeah. yeah, I think it'll be Denver and Green Bay. He's a Broncos fan, by the way. Um, uh, yeah, my, my YouTube channel. We're not here to plug YouTube channels, Matthew. No, nigga. Broncos! Yeah. Alright, okay. Um, Denver and Green Bay uh, in the Super Bowl. And I think Denver will win because... Because I think they would they would match up better against Green Bay's high-powered offense, because with their defense, with their you know smash mouth capabilities. So uh, I think Denver will, will win Super Bowl 48, Super Bowl 48 this year, and it's in uh, New Jersey, um, you know, outdoors. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how that whole thing transpires. But those are my predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Super Eats for Life signing off. Peace.